you guys do me a favor? Type a B down in the comments if you like blood pythons. Type another B if you like Brian. Type another B if you like triple B. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? I think it's I think it's high time we did a video where I just sit behind the table and we do an update on some snakes, specifically blood blood things, bloody things. That's why it's red. Blood pythons, short tail python, and that is it. Let's do it. What do you think? Should we go from biggest to smallest, or smallest to biggest? Let's treat it like a workout. Let's go from smallest to biggest. Here we go. This here is Blend. Blend is the, of course, blood python that my boy Noah Sage has been raising up for the past, you know, however long it's been since Blend hatched out. And he named him Blend because of the, the way his side color blends into the top portion. And Noah's been actually doing a really good job of coming down here and checking on Blend on a regular basis, making sure he has water, making sure that uh, he's getting fed. And yeah, just uh, just been working with him, giving him chin pets and whatnot, because this was, if you guys remember from that video, the most feisty. Ow! <laughs> Definitely not this one. Of the snakes, at least that's how I remember it. Yeah, he's done a great job of chilling this guy out. As you can see, he's, he's curious. He's not doing any defensive uh, activity too much. I mean, you know, a little bit of coiling back there, a little uncertain about what's going on, but mostly just curious little tongue flicks. And uh, yeah, blend. Blends a happy little hakamaka and he's just hanging out doing a good time and it's noisy up there! Anyway. What do you guys think about the fresh haircut? You like the fresh haircut? Uh, if you like it, go check out Akela at Great Clips here in Atascadero. If you don't like it, well, I don't like your opinion. Oh, look at how nicely he's sitting. What an awesome snake. And I think next, if we're going by size, we're gonna have to go with the short tail python, the Sumatran short tail python, Python Curtis, a snake that was given to me by my buddy Matt over at O'Malley's Morphs. Go check out Matt over at O'Malley's Morphs. I think there's a t-shirt on the way. I would be wearing his t-shirt right now if it had arrived already, but it's not quite here yet. So this is Matilda, and she couldn't be possibly in any worse shape for a video than she is right now. And I figured we'd just get this out of the way because, you know, it wouldn't be a very good snake update video if one of them wasn't deep, deep, dark, and dank shed. Ooh, sorry about your tail there. I know you got a little fussy. It's all right. So Matilda, of course, named after my buddy Matt Garibrandt, is doing fantastic, and I would love for you guys to see her with her bright orange head when she's not deep in shed, but you know, sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. It's just what happens when you're doing a snake update video. One of them has to be in shed. It's like a rule of the universe. And look at this guy, still just chilling. <laughs> That snake still just sitting there you're a good snake blend you all right i didn't know which one was actually bigger and i think it is this girl versus the uh, sumatran back there matilda yeah i think that she's got it as far as girth maybe her head's a little bit smaller which is weird but yeah this is our matrix blood python python bronger's my droplet named droplet after her mother and father sangria and sangria who you'll be seeing next and yeah, she's been growing up here. She was the first, she was from the first clutch of blood pythons that we ever hatched out over here at Triple B. Of course, with our buddy Travis over at Living Legless, who's now in Tennessee. Well, it's gonna be much more difficult to do these, these uh, joint pairings now, as far as like, you know, him just coming over to my house and picking out the babies. We'll, we'll have to figure that out in the future because he did leave his mail with me. So we're gonna continue to do that and continue to make pairings that create this exact snake right here. And she's been doing great. I mean, she's super chill. You know, she was easier to chill down than her mom. 
who was definitely not chill when I first got her, but definitely became a big, beautiful, chill out snake, as you're going to see very shortly. Um, you know what I'd love for you guys to uh, talk about in the comments down below is our blood pythons, short tail pythons. And that's because I, I think that they do fit in with short tail pythons, but I, I always hear people refer to them as bloods and short tails. And for some reason, like, make that separation between Python Brongersmai and the other two, Python Brightensteiny and Python Curtis. So I, I'd love to know in the comments what you guys think about that or what you know about that and maybe enlighten some of us that would love to know more about it. Uh, because again, like all the research I've done and all the people I've talked to, it's like some people say they're different, some say they're the same. I want to know your opinion or fact. Dude, that guy's just gonna sit there through the entire video. It's so cool. No rush droplet. Take your time. Grow up. Get nice and nice and chunky like the short tail or blood python that you are. Oh, that's so cool. They're such a cool species. I know Garrett over at Reach Out Reptiles has been having his uh, Super Dwarves versus the world, which he's definitely cheating because he's doing his part after, and we're not sitting down having actual head to head. He's gonna like, pick apart whatever my arguments were for short tails and blood pythons, and then. You know, it's like, it's like, that's cheating, isn't it? That's cheating. I think it's cheating. Maybe we'll have to do a video of super dwarf versus indigo snakes. What do you think about that? I think indigo snake would just eat the super dwarf. <laughs> Shout out Justin Family Jewels. And that's Sangre. That's Travis's Matrix. I think Het. T positive. Um, we haven't really talked about that too much in the pairings, but you know, just because we're making pos hats, and some of you lucky folks out there might have some pos hat uh, albino snakes that you got from from our pairing. So congratulations! But he's doing also great as as acting like a normal uh, blood python, ground dwelling species, holding him up in the air. He's like, what the heck is going on? But he's looking great. I think he might be slightly fired up right now. Let me see that head. Yeah, he's, he's mildly fired up right now. He's not like super white head fired up, but he's he's definitely mildly fired up. Also, obviously a great temperament. I know blood pythons and short tails, they get such a, they have such a uh, stigma. That was the word I was looking for. A stigma about how they're just, you know, super defensive and always striking and stuff. And just goes to show, man, you just take some time, work with your snake and awesome. See, just like, just like this. Every, every blood python could be just like good old blend right here. And absolutely last, but absolutely not least, of course, Sangria, our big girl, big mama. She's just as big as she's been for a while now. I don't think she's, she's not gonna be doing any major growing at this point. She's pretty, pretty large already. And she's been doing fantastic. Just the best temperament ever, you know, has only struck at food since she was a baby. And, uh, look, there's your baby. Say hi, mom. Or just sit there. Whatever, you know, don't be excited to see your mom. I mean, she only brought you into this world and made you the thing you are. But just ignore her, you know? Just act like she doesn't even exist. Did you fall asleep? What is going on here? What's going on with you, Sangria? What's going on around your face here? You got a little something. You see her? Oh. You see her head is super dark right now. Sometimes this head can be like as light gray as you can imagine light gray to get. Sangria, mother of serpents and mother of beautiful snakes like the one right there that's ignoring her. Gosh, get it together, dude. Mom is important. Uh, leave a comment down below if you'd like to see more of these snake update type videos or what type of videos you'd like to see in the future and I will think about making one and probably get to it eventually. What do you guys think uh, we go upstairs and see what all that commotion is? Check this out. I built this gate so that we can't, so the chickens will stay in mostly for the dog so he doesn't go running down the driveway. I haven't built anything in a while. I think I did a pretty decent job. Just slapped together, zero plans. Look, I even see this. Fancy, check this out. Bank. Oh, oh yeah. That's what it looks like when you're fancy. It just needs a little paint and then uh, I think it's good to go. But what do you think about my gate, Eli? I think it's good. Are you trying to lull us to sleep? Yep. What do you know? Chickens.
What about chickens? That they're intelligent and we have chickens and we have six of them and they have feathers and they only walk on two legs. That's all I know. Get back, chicken! Here's the thing about the gate though, okay, ready? I, I tensioned down to the hinges. Hey, hold off on that for a second, bud. Oh, whatever, go ahead, do it, I don't care. Uh, I tensioned the hinges down to get it perfect for the release. Watch this, watch this. Are you ready? You ready? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that was, hold on a sec. I swear I had it perfect. Okay, one more time. Just acting like I'm not, you know, there, there it goes. Come on, gate, You're making me look bad. What on earth is happening right now? What, what, why'd you do it perfect that time? What is going on? Ah! It's absolutely ridiculous. Come on, dude, do it like you're supposed to. What is happening? Holy crap. Yeah, like that. Why didn't you do that the first time? God. <laughs> school? What is it? I thought we were going to get Christmas tree. Yeah. No, school today. It's a holiday. What? Do you know about Snakey? What about Snakeys? That they are so awesome and cool. What I like, you have the baby snake. That's how I know. Okay, okay, okay. I think you guys should see Puppy. Hey, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> what a spoiled little dog. <laughs> well, we went to the Christmas tree farm and they are closed today. So we're going to have to go a different day other than the other option was to go to Home Depot instead of our local Christmas farm. Local Christmas farm, you get to pick your own tree, cut it down. Yeah, Eli wanted to go to Home Depot. We're going to support local. And Leah, Leah's just, Leah doesn't know what she's talking about though. Eli at least has some semblance of what's happening around here. What about you, Dal? Are you gonna destroy our tree? Hey, Noah. What? what do you know? I know. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, that's disgusting, dude. I came up on you at the wrong moment. What is happening right now? What is that? Spit. That was spit? That's absolutely <laughs> disgusting, dude. <laughs> oh. That's why I've been so quiet. <laughs> but why are you doing that? I like it. Oh man, alright. Gosh. What's going on around here? But look at this snake. It's the end of the video. The snake has not moved since we put him here. <laughs> Shaka con, shaka con, shaka con, shaka con, shaka con, shaka con, shaka con. Would you do me? Would you do me? Would you do me? Shaka con, shaka con, shaka con, shaka con. Would you do me? Would you do? Suck, suck. Oh. Oh. Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh,